what I did. Um, is he weaned? What did that look like? I'm pregnant right now, so am I Am I nursing during my pregnancy? Did I nurse during my pregnancy? Those kind of questions. And so I figured I would just sit down and I would just lay it all out for you guys <laughs> and let you guys know how it's been. So welcome back guys, my name's Jamie if you're new. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below. I am in my last trimester with my second daughter, but my fourth um, term baby. And so yeah, we're really excited to have another baby. Uh, but that being said, my son Jude is, um, two and a half right now, almost two and a half. And he was my nursing champ. He loved nursing and I loved nursing him. Um, and we weren't in a rush to have another baby after him. And so I just kind of enjoyed our nursing relationship. And so to kind of make a long story short, I did nurse Jude through this pregnancy. But I'm pretty happy to say that we've reached a point where I am done. I'm done nursing him. He is two and a half and I, this is the longest I've nursed any of my babies. I stopped nursing Jude actually, or Ezra, a month before I had Jude and it was because I didn't want a tandem nurse. <laughs> I was just done. My boobs were sore. I was like full term pregnant and I was done. And so um, this time I really feel done. I feel super happy that we nursed for this long. You know, nursing a little bit of an older baby, toddler, um, has difficulties. It's definitely difficult at times. It's not all bliss, but it's been a really great experience and I feel at peace to say that I'm done nursing him. He has handled it okay. My weaning technique is the slower the better and I just would implement other ways of connection, other ways of coping. And so I started off by, you know, he'd ask to nurse during the day randomly and I'd say, let's go read a book. Or are you thirsty? Would you like a sippy cup? Do you want to cuddle with me? Like I would try to find what's the source of that? Is he thirsty? Is he hungry? Does he want to connect? And try to fill that need in a different way. Once he stopped wanting to just randomly nurse during the daytime, then I started slowly implementing a different nighttime routine. Um, my husband started putting him down to bed and John would cuddle with him and he did, he fought it for a while, he really did, but I just told myself, he's two, he has a dad that loves him that he feels safe with and um, sometimes things are gonna be uncomfortable and sometimes change and growing is difficult but I really feel like I'm his mom and I know what I know what's best for him and I know what's best for me. And having daddy put him to bed and cuddle with him until he falls asleep is totally okay. Once he stopped nursing down, he would still wake and want to nurse at night. And I continued to do that. And then I stopped nursing at night. I just told him, nope, um, my boobies are going night night right now. There's no milkies at night time. I would tell him, in the morning we can, in the morning. And so it wasn't just like a no, it was a wait until morning, wait until morning. And so there was like that hope and that kind of eased him over. And I would nurse him still in the morning time. The last nursing session that we cut out was our morning nurse, which was um, one of my favorites because it was first thing in the morning and he just wanted to be close to me in bed. That was, it just was a special time for him and me in the morning time. You know, you wake up and you've got your baby and they've got the cute little morning face and, and um, I will miss that. I definitely will miss that closeness, but he still likes to snuggle with me in the morning. But that was the last thing that I, I cut. And um, and he, so, he was ready. I don't think he knew he was ready, but he was ready. It was slow and it was comfortable. I didn't do anything shocking to him. We talk a lot about how Ingrid is gonna nurse. I don't think he has any idea really what that is gonna be like. But I hope by that point, um, when she is born, that he is an, enough um, away from it and detached from it that he does okay. So that is our journey as far as weaning Jude goes. If you have any other questions, comment down below please and I would love to answer them or talk with you in the comments. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope that you are doing wonderfully and I will talk to you guys later.